Hello, I'm Amandeep, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'll show you how to use a private virtual interface in AWS Direct Connect to connect to your virtual private cloud using private IP addresses and verify that you are routing properly over this interface. Let's get started. I've already created a private virtual interface in my account for this test. So I'll walk you through the steps to configure and verify the routing for a Direct Connect private VIF. After you create your private VIF, verify that the routing is set up correctly. For that, make sure that the virtual private gateway associated with the private VIF is attached to the correct VPC in AWS. From the AWS Management Console, go to the Services, enter Direct Connect in the search bar, and then select Direct Connect. In the content pane, I've selected my private virtual interface that I'll use for this test. Choose View Details. The summary page of this private VIF appears. Note and copy the virtual gateway value. Now navigate to the VPC console. In the navigation pane under Virtual Private Network, select Virtual Private Gateways. In the content pane, Select the virtual private gateway that we noted earlier. Choose the details view. Note the VPC ID value. If there isn't a VPC listed, then for actions, choose attach to VPC and select the VPC that you want to attach to your virtual private gateway. In this case, I already have the VPC attached to the gateway. So let's move forward. After the virtual private gateway is attached to the VPC and the border gateway protocol or BGP is established, then we'll verify that the routes received and advertised over the virtual interface are correct. Let me walk you through the steps to verify the routes. In my lab setup, I'm using a Cisco Nexus 3K in my on-premise network where the private VIF is terminating at. First, let's make sure that we are advertising routes to AWS that cover my on-premise networks that will communicate with my VPC over BGP. We can use show IP BGP neighbor advertised routes VRF command on the Cisco router where neighbor IP is the IP address of your remote BGP peer to verify the networks that we are advertising. The next step is to make sure that we are receiving the VPC CIDR routes from AWS. We can use show IP BGP neighbor received routes VRF command to verify this. From these two steps, you can see that I'm advertising 10 200 0 200 slash 32 towards AWS, which is the loopback IP on my router and receiving 10 0 0 slash 16 from AWS which is my VPC CIDR. The final step is to make sure that the on-premises routes received from BGP are propagated to the VPC route tables. To achieve this, we'll verify that we have enabled route propagation in our subnet route tables. This propagates the routes learned through the Direct Connect virtual interfaces to our VPC route tables. Any changes to the routes are updated dynamically and you don't need to manually enter or update the route. As you can see that the routes are successfully propagated to the VPC route table. I'm still unable to ping the EC2 instance in my VPC from my on-premise network IP. It seems that the ICMP traffic is blocked at the VPC or instance level. To check that, the next step is to verify the security groups and network access lists that might be blocking the traffic at the instance or VPC subnet level. First, let's verify that my security groups allow traffic from my local instance in VPC. Let me walk you through the steps to do this. Navigate to the EC2 console. In the navigation pane under Network and Security, choose Security Groups. In the Content pane, I've selected the security group that's associated with my instance. Choose the inbound rules view. Be sure that there are rules permitting traffic from the local network over the desired ports. Because I'll be testing 
The connectivity using ICMP will allow all IPv4 ICMP traffic from 10.200.0.200/32 network. Choose the outbound rules view. Be sure that there are rules permitting traffic to your local network over the desired ports. Again, I have allowed all IPv4 ICMP traffic towards 10.200.0.200/32 from my VPC. Now, let's verify that my network access lists allow traffic from my local network. Navigate to the VPC console. In the navigation pane under security, choose network ACLs. In the content pane, I've selected the network ACL that is associated with my VPC and subnets. Choose the inbound rules view. Edit the inbound rules. Be sure that there are rules permitting traffic from the local network over the desired ports. Because I'll be testing the connectivity using ICMP, I'll allow all IPv4 ICMP traffic from 10.200.0.200/32 IP address. Choose the outbound rules view. Edit the outbound rules. Be sure that there are rules permitting traffic to the local network over the desired ports. Again, I have allowed all IPv4 ICMP traffic towards 10.200.0.200/32 from my VPC. The final step is to verify the connectivity using the ping utility, where security groups, network ACLs, and on-premises security should allow ICMP for bidirectional connectivity using ping. As you can see that we are now successfully able to establish connectivity between AWS VPC and the on-premises network. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.